Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Turkey and France have both described the bombing of hospitals in Syria as war crimes. Up to 50 civilians were killed on Monday when missiles targeted at least five hospitals and two schools in rebel-held areas of Syria. Turkey's foreign ministry said Russia was to blame for the attacks and the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights based in the UK blamed the attack in Idlib on a Russian airstrike. Both Russian Health Minister Veronika Sforzova says Moscow did not bomb civilian areas and that it targeted Daesh. The United Nations has called the attacks a clear violation of international law. US President Barack Obama met with 10 representatives from Southeast Asia to strengthen trade ties and talk about China's increasing power in the region. During his opening speech, Obama said the US ASEAN shared goal of building regional order where all nations play by the same rules, climate change, counter-terrorism efforts, and the fight against Daesh are also on the agenda of the two-day summit. The trial begins for two foreigners suspected to have carried out the bombing on the Erawan Shrine last year. Bilal Mohammed and Mireli Yusufu face 10 charges, including plans to explode bombs and carry out murder. But Bilal's lawyer said on Monday that he was forced to make a false confession after being tortured. Police are still looking for 15 other suspects thought to have played a part in the bombing, which killed 22 people. A letter flown out of Paris in a balloon in 1870 has been found in Australia's northeast. The National Archive says it's puzzled by how the letter ended up there. Charles Mesnier wrote the letter to his mother, who lived in Normandy in northern France, to find out if she and her family were safe. It was written during the Prussian siege of Paris, which took place between September 1870 and January 1871. Thanks for watching TRTWorld.com Istanbul.